the government wanted to get into this field, uh, become a pioneer in the world in the hybrid rocket propulsion technology. That's why it was important to start the Delta V Corporation. With hybrid rockets, it's a new area, it's a new frontier. So Turkey had the opportunity to lead the world in this particular area. That's why the foundation of Delta V was very important and strategic for Turkey. So we founded Delta V in uh, 2016. We actually developed a system that can take 100 kilograms of payload into space from the Earth's surface. So what we've done is we actually put these uh, in-space hybrid motors on the sounding rocket and we launched them into space beyond 100 kilometers and we fired them in space. So by doing that, we actually managed to fire the first hybrid in space. The first phase of the Turkey's lunar project is essentially to make contact with the moon. And the second mission is soft landing. That soft lander can also use the hybrid rocket propulsion technology. The benefits of hybrids is quite clear. We are actually separating propellants in two different phases and in two different rooms. In the combustion chamber, we are storing solid fuel and the oxidizer is stored uh, in liquid phase in the tank. And this actually gives a uh, quite important uh, property for the hybrids. From the manufacturing to usage, we are providing more safer operation than we are comparing to solid. And the other important thing is the cost effectiveness of the hybrids. We are providing at least three times cost effective solutions when we are comparing the solids or liquids. We are actually using a green propellants in hybrids, so this is quite important. We are not using uh, toxic propellants and also we are not using carcinogenic propellants. So uh, that means it is quite important for the users and also nature itself. And finally, we are capable to throttle down or throttle up the thrust. So this is actually impossible in uh, solids. And we have also some uh, private customers for uh, some private satellites. We are developing satellite engines. HPIM is actually, again, a Tur Turkish acronym. We call it HIPIM. Uh, and HIPIM is a microsatellite engine. And we have developed this technology uh, like two or three years ago. The HPIM system is uh, designed as a monopropellant propulsion system to uh, keep the spacecraft in stationary orbit and also has the ability to uh, the collision avoidance and uh, at the end of the mission obviously it just uh, ends its life and deorbits the spacecraft. Uh, the fuel it uses is a highly concentrated hydrogen peroxide which is a eco-friendly green propellant and I do believe that it has potential to uh, be a part of eco-friendly missions in future of the space. And it's going to be launched in this uh, November with the Transporter 12, with SpaceX Falcon 9. So we are so actually excited about it uh, because it's going to be the first uh, in-space product of Delta V space team here. We have a very young and talented team here. And, uh, the averaging age of the team is around 25 and 26, so we have a very young and ambitious team here. We are driven by our passion for innovation and the teamwork. Our diverse team has a strong and a variable engineering skills. Uh, as a young and energetic team, we work well together and are excited to explore new ideas and push the boundaries. Our focus on uh, advancing technology in, this, in space uh, with a fresh perspective makes each day exciting and fulfilling. I think that it's a privilege for me to working with this team at my age and I do think that it's both challenging and supportive to work with uh, experienced engineer as my team. So uh, it just makes the work very satisfying. For the future, we have uh, three main plans. Uh, the first thing is to develop the in-space propulsion system 
that are commercially used uh, in the space community. And the second one is to develop the sounding rocket in, again, a, a commercial for commercial usage. And the final thing is that we are planning uh, to build, to develop a small uh, launcher by using that hybrid propulsion technology. Our aims is with Delta V is essential to make Delta V one of the important global technology companies, especially in the field of in-space propulsion. We want to innovate in-space propulsion technologies such that we can change the world. We can enable a lot of missions in space. We can do these missions in a cost-effective fashion. Uh, we, we will obviously support Turkey's missions, uh, space missions, including lunar missions, maybe beyond lunar missions. But more than that, we want to actually put Delta V in such a position that it is globally recognized with its products and technologies in the field. And these products and technologies will be used globally in a lot of applications in space.